Okay guys, welcome back and uh, I have something to say, basically, um, I'm recording this away from the main episode because I just want to let you guys know what I'm doing during breeding. Um, so, basically, out of this one here, I got a common princess, which I'm going to be taking, an unwary drone, which are very useful, or what i found, and just a normal common drone. So I'm going to leave this apiary empty for a moment, and you'll see why in a second. Um, we got this industrious queen going and is producing pollen clusters, but I haven't taken one yet because I want to do it in the main episode. And uh, I got ourselves some noble princesses, and they are going very well at the moment. I'm just keeping the nobles going along with the industrious. So we're getting a load of nobles and industrious drones just as a spare. So, uh, yes, the nobles are going, so we can produce a load of nobles. But we need to produce our royal jelly and for that we are going to need a majestic bee so what we're going to be doing is taking this common princess and put it in with this forest to get a cultivated one because that is something we need to get like straight away and uh, i need to get more mutagen don't i um so after this we will have a cultivated one and we'll put it back in with this noble drone that i have come on 80, come on. I like the progress is going really fast and we got a load of MJ and then out and genetic waste. Oh god. Okay, no problem. We got a load of um we got a load of common princesses anyway. We can just mate it together if we go to get look in our bee bag. Okay, so our bee bag has got a common princess and we're going to take a forest drone so we're going to retry that. We may need more mutagen. Yeah, okay. So uh, I'm going to get more mutagen. Okay, we're back, and uh, our bee bag had... Where is it? Oh, okay, so I already combined it in. I just didn't add enough mutagen. So I put in a common princess and another forest one just to retry it. And here we go, we got a cultivated one. Okay, so our cultivated princess has produced a load more cultivated drones. Uh, quite a lot, actually. Um, okay, so we got uh, three spare cultivated drones, but that doesn't matter. We need the cultivated princess, so hopefully this will work. And it is, so it is now processing. Let's, uh, I will see you once it's completed. Okay, so we're on 97% and 99. And Majestic Queen. Now, I believe this is the final thing we needed for the Royal Jelly. Let's just quickly have a look. So Majestic, Majestic, nice. And possible produce, dripping comb. Okay, so it's not the final one. Right, let me just quickly have a look. We may have to breed it with a, um... We have a noble drone again. Let's just have a look on the wiki, shall we? Okay, so yeah, I remember now. It's Imperial Queen plus a majestic drone. It doesn't matter if they're princesses or what. So, this should be pure and this should be pure. As in, like, the um, secondary and stuff. So, hopefully, this should work. Oh, we got to put it through again. Oh, yes. So, we got to be breed this a bit. Um, maybe, just maybe, it might come in naturally. Oh, that's a queen, isn't it? Oh, that's why you couldn't put the thing through, the um, cultivated one through, because it was a queen. Fair enough. Okay, so I'm going to wait for that to come through, and then we'll combine it with the nobles. Okay, we're back, and uh, the majestic is about to be done, but um, our industrious is still going. But I wanted to draw your attention to this. So, I put in one of our spare industrious drones in with our rocky solution, and I managed to get another industrious princess, so... Hell, I know we're going to need another one later on, like another industrious princess to use up later on, so I think we're going to keep that and scrap the uh, rocky ones, and we are filling up our inventory, aren't we? So, Q, let's just get rid of a load of stuff. Um, I needed that, um, I needed that special, I needed that, uh, noble one, I needed that noble, noble drone, damn, okay. Well, we're going to have to look for our backpack for that one. Let's just go look at it now. And we'll keep the unwary one out because that's quite a good one that's very useful for me, actually. So we've got a noble in there. And now we've got a majestic princess plus majestic drones. So, um, oh, we've got a ton of majestic ones. Maybe if we put... Maybe if we to put another majestic drone in with sort of like a rocky princess or whatever we get another Majestic drone or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, we know it works on the noble ones. So we got the mutagen. Oh, we're gonna need more mutatron. Oh, mutagen. Okay, I'm gonna have to go get that Okay, so now we've got the mutagen in there So we just put our majestic princess in with our noble and with any luck. Oh, it's going rather fast this time double the speed of the uh 
last one. So with any luck, we will hopefully get a good one. Hopefully because it's going so fast, it doesn't mean that we're going to get genetic waste. If so, that's kind of annoying. Um, then I'll have to do most of the stuff all over again. <laughs> genetic waste, man. Ugh, I wonder what the chances are to get it. So we're on 76%, 80%, come on. Ooh, okay, we're going a little under 2% per time. Yes. Okay, so what we're going to get, what we're going to get, please be not genetic waste. Great. Okay, going to have to go get a majestic drone. Okay, so I'm going to try a few things. A, I've mated a majestic drone with a forest princess to see if we get a majestic princess like we did with the uh, industrious. And by the way, this is now producing a pollen cluster as well, so it's just cool. And uh, we're going to use our noble princess with a majestic drone because I cannot be bothered to wait down all those lines. It's faster just to use the noble princess right off than rather than making another majestic one. Because nobles are, you know, fairly easy to make. Oh, we need more mucigen. Okay, I'm going to go get more mucigen. Okay, so that is now going. It's on 30, 40% now, so that should be good. And then after that, we are going to use one of our drones, our noble drones. If we go in here and look for a noble. Uh, have we got a noble? We must have one in the, in the um, thingy, in the computer. Oh, please say we haven't used up all our nobles. If not, it's fine. We can use noble. Um, yeah. I've used up all my noble ones. I've got a pristine stock prince, Meadows Princess though. It's a bit weird. Okay, cool. So we'll just press uses on that. And then I believe you put a cultivated in with a common to get a noble. Have we got a cultivated left? Cultivated. And uh, oh sorry, in here. Cultivated, yes, and have we got a common? I don't think we got a common princess, but that's fine. We'll just make these um two together and then we get common and then we'll just put this in with the mutagen to get a noble. So yeah, fairly easy. We just need to wait for a hive to open up. Uh you know what? Let's use this hive. Yeah, you know what, why not? And we're just gonna make some more hives as well. Um so let's go back to our mutagen. So that's now producing common. We're mate it with this um cultivated one in the mutagen. Oh uh he hello? Um, um, please tell me what's happened. Oh, it's on 8MJ. Is it getting any power? It must need the smidgen of power just to complete. Okay, let's sort that out, shall we? Okay, so I got this uh, leadstone energy cell with all the power we should need. And Imperial Queen. Awesome. So now we just need another apiary, which I'm going to make a couple of before the main event of the episode. Man, I must have taken about like 10 minutes speaking and trying to get this uh, this uh, Imperial Queen. So that is uh, cool. So I'm not going to do any more at the moment because I'm going to wait until I feel like recording the rest of the episode. So I'm going to make a cut here and we'll return when we do the rest of the episode. Alright guys, uh, it's been a while since my last little snippet that I recorded before and uh, I have some news for you guys. Um, during a massive sort of session of me sort of playing around and uh, mutating bees and stuff, my power cut off and well, the save got corrupt so I had to use one of my backups which was actually a while ago that I backed that up so um, I had to do a load of work off camera and uh, restore everything that I did off camera and if we come in here um, most of this stuff would have been created yeah I've creative moded like all of this stuff because I did it legitly before the crash and uh, so that's why some things may look out of place some things are totally new like this little section here because I need a magma crucible so I made that and then fluid transposer and induction smelter because those three machines are all needed to make this redstone energy cell which I decided to make in my own time because I was a pain in the ass and um, I made that because it can produce it can output 2000 RF and if we look at that that's um, how much RF we're getting and I decided to change up all these cables into golden kinesis chain cables so yeah that's all going I also made a few um, fuel rods and uh, I re um, created mode back them back in and I just realized I haven't got my um, I haven't got my enchant table and books shelves that um, I had last time as well. Um, so as for this, 
basically bee breeding. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> I did so much work bee breeding off camera and um, now it's in, because it's impossible to like cheat in bees, specific bees, or I don't think it is anyway. I had to re bee breed every single one of these bees. So each one of these hives have their own sort of stock. So this one is an ancient one. Only for some reason I'm getting nobles out of it. So I'm trying to repair it. And you may notice there's a regeneration effect on me. And I'm going to get to that in a second. Um, so ancient, ancient, good. And what's this one? Ancient noble. Okay, I'm trying to stamp out the noble from these ancient ones. I don't know why there's a noble in there, but there is. Um, majestic hive, imperial hive, uh, diligent, and a noble queen. So yeah, that's all, all good. These are the ones I'm keeping separate and just um, keeping away from every other bee because I want them to stay as they are. Uh, these are sort of an experimental ones. I got an Embuary Hive, which I'm keeping separate, and I got another one because I'm going to use that in a minute. And um, yeah, these are the ones I've kept separate because Industrious, you saw I had two of them Industrious ones, but uh, yeah, because of the crash and everything about a corrupted world, I've got no Majestic ones. So I've cheated in a Pollen Cluster because I, have, I had pretty much a stack of pollen clusters before it um, corrupted the world so I cheated one of them in for now and I'll get the industrious in my own time and uh, so yeah that's all good so on to one of the um on to what the reason why I've got some sort of um regeneration effect every so often is because in one of these things I don't know which one it is let's look in look in here I'm not sure if this is the imperial one where's our imperial Oh, it's just gone into our bee bag, hasn't it? Okay, come on, Imperial. Imperial. Where's our Imperial? Okay, so if we look at this Imperial, yeah, Beatific. For some reason, this Imperial drone is giving us um, regeneration every time we stay near the hive. And I'm not too sure why, but uh, yeah, that's very cool. I like that. And um, if we look at this Forest Queen, which I mated with a marshy um, drone, because I also went out and uh, rampaged for a load of queens and everything before the corrupt so I had to cheat in all of those meadows hives and everything so yeah if we scan this uh, queen this forest queen here we will see if it's got the regeneration effect and poison effect so I'm not too sure what to do with this character because every time I put it in it, I get poison <laughs> if I go anywhere near the hive so I need to be careful with this one but I'm still experimenting so yeah this is sort of the experimental area so I just thought we'd uh, cheat, we'd um, not cheat, we'd uh, have a look at this and complete this quest here, Dripping and Stingy, Pollen Cluster, and yeah, we got one Pollen Cluster. Oh, that might be because I cheated in the Pollen Cluster, that's fine, okay, cool. I got Royal Jelly because I was in this hive because I came very close to producing the Imperial Queen uh, legit again for some reason. So now we've got another imp uh, Royal Jelly. Um, consume task, okay, we may need to actually get a a quest delivery system for that bad boy. Okay, cool. So we'll shove that in there, and now we'll put a hopper there, and we'll sh connect this. We currently don't have any task selected. Select task. Um, manual submit. Oh, okay, so I can manual submit. Oh, <laughs> oh well, well, that's um, useful in case we need to deliver some sort of fluids or whatever so you know not a total waste so what do we get from here be Eliza which we made three diamonds um, I'm taking the three diamonds so yeah I had to re-cheat in my be Eliza by the way <laughs> so man it's been a long uh, it's been a stressful one today um, and also increase the reactor chambers on our reactor so yeah we got a load of fuel rods in there at the moment going crazy so we should be producing energy but we are still not producing enough energy because our machines are still engulfing all our power which by the way i did have all of these machines filled up with power beforehand but now we don't oh by the way that mutagen is not legit i should probably take that out really because i spawned in a load of mutagen to make so i could easily produce the uh, bees that i needed again forest drone yay <laughs> at least it's not a crap one um so yeah i think that is pretty damn cool so we look at this quest now and no this quest elviary i think this is a multi-block structure kind of thing 
I'm not sure. It kind of rings a bell that it was a multi-block structure we had to make, so I'm not too sure what this thing is. So, Elviary. Uh, before we do that, let's see if we can make our use our unwary. No. So, we're going to use our un uh, spare unwary princess and combine it with a diligent drone, and then we should be able to get our... There, where is it? Industrious Queen again. So, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. And then we can start playing around with bees more often and stuff. Uh, so, Elviary. Elviary. Elviary, cool. Scented panelling. Impregnated casing. Oh, come on. I hate imp making impregnated casings. Um, wood. If we just type in wood. Okay, cool. So, oh, I had a ton of iron before the crash as well. Ah, this has offset me. That crash is... Ah. Um, jeez. So if there's some things... Oh, I've already said that, haven't I? If there's some things differently about this whole place, then yeah, that's why. Um, I believe we need some seed oil as well, which we may need to squeeze it for. Do we have any seeds? Oh, oh, hang on. Uh, oh, I have got a ton of seeds in here, but that is not nearly enough of what I'm supposed to have. Because when I was out doing a um, look around for some new queens and stuff. I found a village and I pillaged all their seeds. So what I'm going to do is go into slash game mode C. If you're looking at all that, that's where I've been um, trying to re um, give myself all of the stuff that we had before. So yeah, that is a, uh, that's a pain. I've been doing this for about three hours now. Oh, I also made some more um, ME storage drives. So I'm going to go into here and take in seeds. I had, I at least had a stack and you know, I think I had two stacks, but just on the safe side, I'm not going to spawn any anymore. Yes, yeah, um, I was told I should probably make a a wheat farm, but um, I don't see why. He said that the watery princess is expensive, so make a wheat farm. Now, unless that's because you need impregnate impregnated frames or whatever, I have no idea. So seed oil. Oh wow, that's going to take a while, isn't it? Um, I forgot how long that would take. Oh. Yes, I need to get rid of this resident energy cell as well. Um, why do I get rid of the resident energy cell? That was what I was using to power the mutagen as as well. While I was setting up the reactor again. So we're going to shove that in there. And put that down there. Cool. <laughs> Sorry guys, you get to see a lot of the behind the scenes stuff here. So how long have we got left on here? Still a lot. Okay, so we're going to wait for that seed oil to produce its thing. Then we're going to look at the alveary. Um... Oh, no we're not, because uh, I need to talk to you guys about this iron comb. So, the specific bee that produces an iron comb. And, um, yeah, it's kind of a hard one to get, but uh, it's not it's not terrible. I mean, I was halfway, I was um, starting it as soon as my game crashed. So, we need to use this to get a robust, qu oh wait, sorry, no. If we click here, we need to make a rocky princess with a diligent to get a ro tolerant. And then we need to mate a tolerant with a rocky princess again to get robust. And then we need to mate it with an imperial princess to get a resilient. And then resilient with a forest to get, oh sorry, with a meadows to get rusty queen. So that is going to be a long goal. So I'm going to have to start doing that in these spare kind of alvearies. Oh yeah, if you haven't told, if you couldn't tell, I made uh, a load more alvearies. So yeah, awesome. So I'm gonna wait for that seed oil to do its thing so we can make, make an impregnated casing and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so you can't uh, click on the scented paneling which you need for the aviary. Um, so I found out you need to do this in a carpenter as well. So we're going to need a lot of seed oil. So I don't know why you need to make a wheat farm for the watery princess or if you even meant to make a wheat farm for a watery princess. Either way, we're going to make a wheat farm because uh, yeah, we need one. So, let's just quickly make ourselves a hoe. This shouldn't be too long, I don't think. Uh, how much iron do I have? I did have a ton. Uh, buckets, water. Okay, cool. I got ourselves an infant warp source just over here. So, wheat farm. Where should we put our wheat farm? Um, I think right here will do. You know, just right here. Uh, oh, three torches. <laughs> uh, cool. And... Now we're just gonna... Where should we shove it? I don't know. Anywhere I pull it seems a bit ugly. Uh, I don't know. F7. F7 F7 this thing up. Okay, cool. So we'll just shove it along here. Along this line 
here or something. Yes. Yes. Okay. And then we'll make some one on the other side. And uh, one, two, three, four. Cool. So we have water in this whole section here. So yeah, let's quickly do all of that. Okay, cool. So our farm is now done. Let's go see if we've got any bones, shall we? I mean, I love that kind of the look of that, by the way. That just looks so cool, in my, thing, in my opinion. But I wasn't around during the old sort of uh, tech it days. So I never got to experience the sort of industrial craft stuff. So yeah, this is uh, why I'm doing the industrial craft stuff. Um, okay, so let's look at our squeezer. We got a bucket of oil. I'm not sure how far that will go within the carpenter or how to get that out, actually. Buckets. Okay, maybe you need a tin. I can't remember how to do this, really. Tin. Uh, or can. Let's see if I can need, need a can. Uh, it looks like I need a can. There's, uh, I need a can. I need the can, guys. Um, no. <laughs> okay, so we put that in there. And seed oil. Oh, wow. That really did take a lot. Okay, cool. So, and it uses up our can. Jeez. Expensive. So... How do you make an impregnated casing? I can't remember. Yeah, either way, we might as well make ourselves. Oh, oh, that might actually be how you make impregnated casing. I just haven't given the materials. Is that right? Is that going? I don't think it's going, guys. Uh, no recipe. The mystery does not match the supplier. Okay, cool. So that's not how you make it. Let's quickly see how to make scented paneling, shall we? Okay, so we're going to make the impregnated casing first. So. I believe you need a pollen cluster here. We also get, uh, sorry, not impregnated casing, scented paneling. So you get a pollen cluster here, then beeswax like that, and then, I should probably leave the materials in there, shouldn't I? And then you need a golden nugget. So golden nugget. Oh, I had a ton of gold as well. Um, okay, great. Okay, I'm back. And uh, yeah, it's uh, royal jelly here and beeswax here, not the golden nugget. So yeah. Okay, what? Okay, so the wiki says this is definitely the crafting recipe. I don't know what's going on here. Um, everything should be correct. I'm not sure why it's not working. Again, there was seed oil in there, but uh, I'm tried water just in case. So this should be right. Am I? Am I right? <laughs> I think this is right. I don't know why it's not working to be honest, unless they've changed the, the um, crafting recipe and they've not updated the wiki or whatever. But to be fair, I am using my mobile to find out the wiki, so yeah, that could be why. Um, we're going to take this unwary and then we're going to get a diligent and put it in there. I'm going to do that off camera now because you've seen me do it before and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so yep, i got the industrious right here and uh, so, sorry, right here. and. Uh, Oh, wow. I got a resident energy cell up there. I did not realize that was still there. Okay, cool. So I have to get rid of that again. Oh, yeah, guys, by the way, if you see there's something cheated in or whatever, which I don't know or whatever, feel free to point it out because, uh, yeah, I will do my best to rectify it. It's just one of those things that we're just going to have to deal with for a while, aren't we? So, um... Alviaries and stuff are on hold for a bit because they can't figure that out for some reason. That should be right. And in pregnant casing, I'm pretty sure that was correct as well, but uh, I don't know about that. I am double checked. So alviaries, cool. What do we get out of this? Diamond pickaxe, I can make that easy. Lead block, iron block, probably get the lead block to be honest. And a bee bag. Cool. So. Um, I think that may do it for today's episode. Sorry it was a bit all over the place. It was a bit... Uh, the amount of work that went into this episode, Jesus. It doesn't look like it, but wow, there was a lot of work behind the camera here. And uh, yeah, that is... Uh, so leave a like, please. Please, uh, I, I'm going to die if I don't. <laughs> so yeah, um, thank you all for watching this. And uh, leave a like, leave a comment. And by the time we come back, we will have... Well, we will hopefully have the um, Gen Dust deal sorted out and everything. So we can use industrious hives. And um, we will have this thing sorted out, hopefully. I think this is right. I swear this is right. Hmm. I, I don't know what's going on with that. Please tell me. And uh, we will have a load more seeds and stuff. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. And uh, leave a like, leave a comment. And I will see you in the next episode.